James Harris Simons is a legend of trading and a man who changed the way we think about the financial markets. His achievements were made possible by math, data, and persistence. By founding the Renaissance Technologies Fund in 1982, he laid the foundation for a new approach to money management. But his main brainchild was the Medallion Fund, a hedge fund that over the decades has produced a record average return of more than 60% per year after all fees. This result puts him among the greatest investors of all time. What is the secret of his success? How is the math professor able to achieve such incredible results? In this video, we'll see what's behind this success story and how James Simons became an icon of algorithmic trading. Before we get started, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to the channel. It not only helps the channel grow, but it gives me extra motivation to share even more useful information with you about trading, making money in the market, and improving your financial skills. James Simons was born on April 25th in 1938 in Massachusetts to a middle-class family. His father was the owner of a small shoe factory and wanted his son to continue the family business. However, from an early age, James showed a talent for science, especially mathematics. Against the will of his parents, he decided to devote his life to this discipline, choosing a path that, at first glance, did not promise great prospects. After graduating from high school, Simons enrolled at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, where he got a bachelor's degree in mathematics. He then continued his studies at Princeton, earning a PhD in complex mathematical problems. His talent and determination quickly made him a recognized expert in academia. However, trading did not come into Simon's life immediately. Early in his career, he worked for a government agency doing cryptography and code decryption, which required analytical thinking and working with data. This experience laid the foundation for his future work with financial markets. Later, after returning to academia, Simons continued to teach mathematics, but soon realized that his talent could be applied not only in theory, but also in practice. The idea of using mathematical models to analyze market data seemed revolutionary to him, and he decided to devote himself to the financial world. The turning point was the realization that markets are a huge system of data that can be analyzed and predicted using mathematical models. This inspired him to change careers. In 1978, Simons founded the investment company Monometrics to implement his ideas in the financial market. The main goal was to create a systematic approach to trading based on math and statistics. Instead of intuitive decisions, he wanted to rely on objective data and calculations. However, the first experience proved to be extremely difficult. He had not yet realized that market behavior does not always lend itself to a simple mathematical description. Macroeconomic events, political instability, and human factors, including crowd behavior, were left out of his models because these variables were not integrated into the calculations. The computers of the 1970s also imposed serious limitations. Their computing power was extremely modest, making the processing of large amounts of data a complex and resource-intensive task. Testing of its mathematical models took days and sometimes weeks which practically excluded the possibility of operational application in real market conditions. Such limitations led to unsuccessful trades and miscalculations, which resulted in significant financial losses. Although the exact amounts of the losses are not disclosed, it is known that they were sufficient to force Simons to rethink his approach. He realized that simple mathematical algorithms created in isolation were insufficient to succeed in the complex and dynamic system of financial markets. These failures were a turning point and a catalyst for deep analysis. Simons realized that to succeed, he needed to collect and process massive amounts of data, develop more complex algorithms, and bring in experts from different fields to the team. This rethinking approach later not only ensured his success, but also became a revolution in the world of trading, changing the rules of the game forever. Today, the methods that James Simons used to analyze the markets have become the basis for many modern technologies. 
His approach to automating trading and eliminating the human factor inspired the creation of algorithmic systems that can bring profit even to those who do not have deep knowledge of trading. Nowadays, it is not necessary to analyze huge amounts of data by yourself for stable profits in trading. Modern technologies provide tools that can do it for you. One of such expert advisors is MiloBot Pro. During four years of trading, this expert advisor has shown impressive results. The initial deposit of $30,000 was increased to $272,000. All trades were made fully automatically without any trader's intervention. MiloBot Pro is able to simultaneously trade on 12 currency pairs, demonstrating profitability on each of them for all four years. For those who want to purchase the expert advisor, you can do it on the MQL5 website. You will find details and links in the description. Now we will return to James Simons again. After the first failures, he did not give up. In 1982, he founded Renaissance Technologies, which turned the ideas about trading upside down. The basic idea behind Renaissance Technologies was to apply quantitative methods and big data analysis to find market patterns. The company collected information with incredible breadth and depth, going far beyond standard market data. This included not only stock prices and trading volumes, but also weather data, economic indicators, political events, and even cultural trends. This approach made it possible to take into account a multitude of factors that could influence market behavior. The massive processing of big data was made possible through the innovative use of mathematical models and algorithms. Algorithms analyzed huge amounts of data, revealing hidden correlations and patterns that were invisible to traditional analysis methods. For example, algorithms could discover connections between changes in commodity prices and macroeconomic events, or predict the behavior of individual assets before key news releases. The use of artificial intelligence and machine learning was a key feature of Renaissance. The models did not just analyze data, but also learned from their mistakes, becoming more accurate with each new cycle. Combined with highly automated processes, this ensured speed and accuracy of decision-making, which practically eliminated the influence of the human factor. In addition, Renaissance actively worked on adaptive models that could change depending on current market conditions, which was a real revolution for its time. Renaissance's flagship was the Medallion Fund, a fund that became synonymous with success. Since 1988, Medallion has posted an average annualized return of about 66% before fees, even after high 5% management fees and 44% of profits the fund remained the best in the world, leaving its competitors far behind. This result far outperforms other major hedge funds and indices such as the S&P 500. The fund is believed to have earned its investors more than $100 billion in profits. One of the key features of the fund was its team. Unlike most financial companies, where financiers and traders are at the forefront, Renaissance Technologies hired only specialists from scientific fields. The staff included prominent mathematicians, physicists, programmers, and artificial intelligence experts. Many of them held doctoral degrees from the best universities in the world. This scientific team developed the algorithms and models that made such outstanding success possible. The main secret of Medallion Fund was the use of a huge amount of data. This data included market indicators, macroeconomic statistics, social trends, and even unusual indicators, such as weather data. Unique algorithms developed by the team analyzed this data and found connections and patterns that were impossible to spot manually. To adapt to ever-changing market conditions, the fund actively applied machine learning techniques, allowing its models to learn from new data and adjust strategies in real time. Another important element of success was strict discipline in decision-making. All Medallion Fund operations were based solely on algorithms, which completely eliminated the influence of human emotion. This protected the fund from errors associated with a subjective approach, such as irrational decisions in moments of market panic or excessive optimism. In an effort to keep its strategies unique and stable, 
Renaissance Technologies decided in 2005 to close the medallion fund to outside investors. Since then, only company employees have had access to the fund. This avoided significant capital inflows that could have reduced the effectiveness of their algorithms. The closed nature of the fund and its outstanding performance has created an aura of mystery around Medallion Fund that only enhances its legendary status. James Simons became a living proof that success in trading is achieved not by magic and luck, but through hard work, discipline, and faith in the power of science. His journey full of difficulties and failures showed that even the most unusual and seemingly impractical ideas can overturn the existing order if you continue to follow them with persistence and enthusiasm. If you want to learn more about the principles that help professional traders maintain discipline and achieve success, I recommend to watch our previous video, The Golden Rules of Trading. In this video, we go into detail about the key strategies and approaches that can become the foundation of your trading. Simon's idea to apply math and scientific methods to analyze financial markets was initially viewed with skepticism. While the market was driven by intuition and subjective experience, his method seemed too complex and isolated from real life. Even when his first attempts resulted in significant losses, Simons did not give up on his idea. Instead, he rethought the approach, learned from his mistakes, and began to focus even more on collecting data, creating accurate models, and recruiting the best scientific minds. Simons didn't just succeed. He changed the very understanding of how financial markets can be traded. His story teaches that belief in one's own ideas and the willingness to overcome obstacles can lead to the greatest achievements. It is an inspiration for anyone who wants to challenge tradition, use intelligence, and prove that chaos can be turned into order. James Simons created a method that seemed impossible and proved that success belongs to those who never give up. 